One last game. All it takes is one last game until one of these teams punch their ticket to the biggest game that you can punch your ticket to. We have a subscriber on the Baltimore Ravens, Clayton DeBush, who is one game away from making history to be the first starting subscriber to make it to the Super Bowl. Now, if he does make it, he'll be taking on the New Orleans Saints, who beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 31-14. Now, there is a subscriber on the Saints, but he is a bench quarterback, second-string quarterback, Ken Burks. So, question is, can Clayton DeBush... Step up big and actually be a factor for his team. I think that's what it's going to take. They're facing the number two best running back in the league this year as far as rushing yards. He was only under Christian McCaffrey in Derrick Henry. Now, before we go into this game, injury report. The Ravens are pretty banged up. They're not going to be without Sammy Watkins. I mean, they are going to be without Sammy Watkins. That's why I'm wondering if Clayton can step it up or not. Watkins was a big target for Lamar, and he's not going to have him in this game. As far as the... Um, crap, where are they at? The Titans, they're coming in pretty healthy so with that being said ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and get into it now it's calling for snow but it did that last game as well and it didn't snow so I guess we'll see if it does oh and there it is it is snowing this will be the first time I have ever seen snow on next gen Madden look very good I don't know if if the Titans are gonna be able to stop him it's gonna depend on if they could stop Lamar Jackson in my opinion second and 13 opening drive the Titans say listen here man we are the you know the top team here they're the underdogs you're gonna respect us we're gonna feed it to King Henry and he's gonna eat whether it's snowing out or it's raining out or it's a sunshiny day it doesn't matter feed it to King Henry and that's a dub. Second and three on the opening drive. Another handoff to King Henry himself as he's going to fight through the first down. Three rushes, eight yards. Not bad. First and ten. King Henry going to go get a breather, it looks like. Second string running back steps in. And Ryan Tannehill is going to step back. He's going to air it out. And back in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee Titans. Wow. Man, oh, man. Quick opening drive, quick touchdown, Tennessee Titans. What a dime right there, Ryan Tannehill. His career has just been on the uprise ever since leaving Miami and coming up there to Tennessee. Uh, I think he just fits better with them, and he's got a good solid team built around him. And he's done his part to lead them to where they need to be. Now, how will the Ravens react, though? First and ten. And he, oh, Lamar Jackson's going to go down. Jeffrey Simmons gets to him. Six-yard loss. Second and 16. And then it's not going to matter because Titans make a big mistake. Face mask on the play. And then a big bomb to Marquez Brown. 25 yards. First and ten. And it looks like the Ravens are going to answer right back. 
We could have a shootout here. So here we go. Second and six. It's going to be a hand. No play action. Lamar's going to keep it. He's going to dump it down to the running back either way. And Edwards is going to fall forward for the first down. They mark him down at the 21. Pistol formation, first and 10. Gus Edwards up the middle. Oh, my God. A 12-yard rush. He it was untouched for the 12 yards. I mean, anybody can do I can do that. Put me out there. What a what an O line right now, by the Ravens. Gus Edwards, gonna fight to the seven. Four rushes, twenty yards. Second and goal. Um, I trying to look out for Clayton here. This is his first ever AFC Championship game. You never know if you ever get another chance at playing in this type of game. You know, it it, it can get hard to get to, to this level here, um, especially in the NFL uh, or the MFL, should I say? One of the hardest sports to to get here we'll see if he makes you know if he doesn't let it slip does he, can he be a you know impact on his team Lamar Jackson stepping up on the run throws it away honestly I would have just tucked that if I was him uh, I say you go for it here if you're the Ravens but they're gonna take their points um, which oh no they're not they're gonna go for it he breaks one tackle he stays up he's scrambling out does he got the speed no he doesn't Oh my god! What did we just watch? I was gonna say go for it. This is bringing PTSD back from Madden 21 uh, franchise mode. Oh my god. I'm glad it just wasn't me on the field. Uh, the Titans actually almost let that happen. Look, if you're gonna go for it, just go for it. I, I am not a fan of, of the fake field goal attempts. Like, There's athletes out there on the field no matter what. Right? So... Oh, here we go. We got a little bit of a glitch. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to have to wait 20 seconds. But anyways, that's just my take. I'm, I'm not saying that it's never worked. I'm just saying there's going to be athletes on the field either way. Uh, how about put your athletes on the field as well? And, uh, man, if you're going to go for it, go all out. D don't try and trick them. I mean, especially when you're that far away. Uh, that happens right there. But... If you get it, you're going to look dope. But they don't get it. It was a good effort here by number two. Who was that, matter of fact? I want to get uh, Huntley right here. He's going to take off. And then right away, he's like, oh. So he cuts it back this way. Breaks the tackle from Fulton. And then avoids that guy. And it's going to try and take it out. I like the way the movement looks sometimes. Like, sometimes it looks really bad, but sometimes like this, it looks really good. Like, right here. Oh, like, look at the stutter step here. He, he stops. It's not instant, so it's more realistic, and his body leans the other way. I mean, you got to look at this kind of stuff, too, as well. Now, you do got uh, Justin Tucker looking dumb as hell. But, <laughs> either way. But then right here, oh, he cuts it back right. Cuts it. Looks pretty nice. But either way. Not going to work. So close. Yet so far away. Let's go ahead and get back into this game. And we'll see what the Titans can do with it. First and 10 incomplete pass. Ryan Tannehill. And the Titans are just going backwards. Three and out. Good defense by the Ravens. Lamar Jackson. Nine yard rush there. Then he's going to go back third and four. And they go three and out. So we're seeing a... We're seeing some defense now in the snow here. Titans, though. Ooh, drop pass right there. Third and ten. Josh Reynolds makes up for it, and he does get the first down. Titans are struggling, though, to get momentum. And that's three passes incomplete. Oh, my God. They just pinned them back at the one. Can the Ravens get out of this? The last time we simmed it, it was a, it was a, there was a safety. Can they get out of it? Yes, they can. They run it with their fullback, Patrick Ricard. He gets them out of that, that tough spot there. It sets up a second and four. First down, Ravens. Trying to get something. Clayton DeBosch gets his first catch. Gets his second catch. Both little 
passes, but hey, it, it's something to get him involved. So I like it. Ooh, a big penalty by the Titans and then an injury by Hooker. Uh, injury goes down. Hooker goes down. That's actually their a decent starting safety for them. We'll see how that affects this game, but right now, Ravens finally slow, methodical driving down the field, but whatever it takes, can they finish this drive out? Take a sip of my coffee, second and one. Lamar Jackson's going to keep it, but not going to trick that team captain there. He will get the first down, though. I would have liked to see the Ravens kind of bomb it down the field a little more. I know they don't have the receiving core quite yet, but maybe Clayton DeBush, give him a shot. There's a, there's a catch right there, first down. Clayton DeBush with his third reception. Oh, second, I guess they... I guess that one didn't count twice. Maybe I misread it. But either way, second catch for him, 14 yards. Now it's a handoff going back to the ground game. He cuts back inside. I probably wouldn't have done that. And he goes down for the second time. He went down earlier, comes back in the game, goes down again. This time he's leaving the stadium, though. So that's not a good sign. These guys, both these teams, man, trying to punch their ticket into the biggest game in sports entertainment. Can they do it? Gus Edwards says, get off of me and drink some milk. Setting up his team with a third and two after that decent run right there. Can the Ravens finish, though? Lamar Jackson. Has plenty of time. Finds Gus Edwards. First down, Ravens. This has been a very long drive. I wonder how many plays. I'm not too sure. It's been a lot, though. Lamar Jackson trying to finish this one, though. He has time. Wow, that was really weird. I wish you would tell me how many plays um, this drive has been. Here we are, second and goal, shotgun formation, Lamar Jackson steps back, pressure coming, and it's broken up. He had it, should have caught it. If you touch it, you got. if you get a hand on it, you got to come down with it. Says, always said John Madden, if you guys, I don't know if you ever got to listen to him commentate. He's one of my favorite commentators. With that, that should have been a catch, Lamar Jackson, pressure coming, panicking, and he's going to throw it away. And... Will they really go for the field goal this time? Now, if they if they they do, and you got to think, if they would have went for the last one, it'd be a six to seven score right now. But instead, it's just seven to three. So two drives, they get two times they get to the red zone, and only three points to show out of it. That really can hurt. And now the Tennessee Titans are turning on. The engines trying to drive down the field here. You're going to have to stop Hayden Hurst. That man is a beast. They're in field goal range here. We're going to we're going to go ahead. We're going to quick sim it to halftime. So whatever have I don't want to ruin any momentum because the Ravens will have a chance here. So Tennessee drives right back down the field. Basically takes those points away from the Ravens. 10 to 3 is the score. Interception. Hooker came back after Getting hurt and picks off Lamar Jackson. And now the Titans have the ball. They could get three points out of it, but Justin Houston might have knocked them out of field goal range with that sack. It's a five-yard rush to try and get back, and the Ravens' defense bells them out. They're going to get out of that without any points given up. Good defense by the Ravens. Very good defense. And the Ravens will get the ball at halftime as well. So let's take a look at the halftime st stats for the quarterbacks. Ryan Tannehill, 102, one tutty, 47 completion percentage. Both these quarterbacks struggling in the snow right now. I'd say Lamar's struggling just a little bit more. But it's still anybody's game here with the score 10-3. Gus Edwards going backwards there. 
That's not what you want to do. But they're going to make up for it. They're starting to get momentum. Third and four. Touchdown! Oh, my God! 24-yard bomb and catch to Clayton DeBush for a 24-yard touchdown pass. We normally don't see simmed touchdowns like that often. Well, we're going to see one here, and it's 24 yards away. Um, that's going to tie this game up 10-10. to 10. And now we get to see the Titans. How are they going to respond? They've been very good so far today at responding, but not this drive. And now the Ravens coming out with their halftime adjustments. And it's looking like the Ravens may have momentum. Clayton getting involved. See, it just repeats the same thing, so I don't know if that really counts or not. Third and inches, they're going to get in. Oh, yeah, the Ravens have a lot of momentum right now. Driving down the field. Lamar Jackson goes backwards there. Seven-yard rush, third and six. Can they get it? Oh, just short. Are they going to go for it? No, they went for the field goal, and it's a missed field goal. Now, that can kind of that can kind of ruin momentum. I'm not going to lie. That can kind of ruin momentum because it gives them... Well, never mind. That penalty is going to just take anything you had away. Then you get sacked. Oh, my goodness. Second and 29 all of a sudden. And the Titans are going to go three and out and give the ball right back to the Ravens. First and ten. We are going to hop into this game in a minute. Interception, Kevin. Okay, we'll just go ahead and hop into it now. Uh, what's happening to Lamar Jackson, man? Two interceptions now for Lamar Jackson. And now the Titans have it. Snow still coming down. Ryan Tannehill stepping back. Play action. Finds Julio Jones. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. It's been all... Look at the, the offensive snaps. 52 for the Ravens, only 36 for the Titans. Um, but yet, it's only 10-10. to 10. Baltimore only has 10 points. So, single back formation. Hand off to the second string who gets stuffed. But he picks it up. I didn't think he got it, but it, it looks like he did. So here we go. Henry's still not in there. I wonder why. Not too sure if he's injured or just tired or, or what's going on. But second and eight. Looks like the Titans are going to play it very conservative here. And there is an injury timeout. O lineman there. Titans trying to get to, to the to the big game, man, to the big Super Bowl. It's been a long time since they've been there. And now they're going to spread it five wide. Ryan Tannehill finds his man, and I think he's short. He's a yard short. So if you're Tennessee, do you take your three? Take the lead? I think, I think this is the right call here. But in the snow, nothing is guaranteed. It is up, and it is good. So Tennessee will take the lead once again. Um, and there you go. 13-10. to 10. Ravens offense has not really been that good today. They've been a lot better the second half, though. Can they get it? Get it going. Clayton DeBush keeps the drive alive. Let's. we we, we got to watch. It's getting close to the end here. We got to watch this. They're spreading it five wide. Oh, my goodness. Four on one side. And Lamar Jackson's going to step back. He's going to have time. Goes deep, and it's caught. First and ten. Ravens are going to be aggressive. They're spreading it five wide once again. Lamar Jackson. This is when they're the most deadliest, in my opinion. They send the blitz, but they're going to go end zone. He had plenty of time in it. Caught touchdown. Brown, did he get the feet in? I mean, you can tell from the snow he got the feet in. Easy touchdown. Baltimore Ravens. 17, 13. 
thanks to those deep blues. Derrick Henry's a little upset, man. Like, hey, what's happening right now? I don't think it was that guy's fault. They're talking to Brown like it was his fault. He's a he's a linebacker. Why? <laughs> you need to be talking to your safeties. No wonder, no wonder the deep blues are broken. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and watch this next drive by the Titans. So how are the Titans going to respond after giving up that big bomb? Lamar Jackson makes up for his mistakes here. Ryan Tannehill is going to try and do the same. He's going to find. Oh, I thought he broke that and was going. That's Brown with a catch. And now we're about to see a slugfest, I think. 17-13. If they give t time to Ryan Tannehill, this could be good. Almost intercepted. Trying to do the check down. The Titans. Try not to let this one slip away. If the Ravens win this, man. that th This will be the greatest underdog story from a 9-8 and eight team. And Ryan Tannehill feels the heat. And he's going down. The only way... To make up for the broken deep blues is by getting pressure there quickly. And the Ravens succeed at that. All they gotta do it all they gotta do is do it two more times, and I think they're gonna go to the Super Bowl. Ryan Tannehill steps back. He's got to dump it down. That pressure's getting there. And here it is. Oh, they're gonna punt it away. Okay, they're gonna play conservative. They trust their defense. That just means if the Ravens score. It's over, and it's a bad punt. Man, oh man, I can't believe it. I really think right now that a 9-8 team has just done it. A 9-8 team is going to the Super Bowl. Clayton DeBush with a 9-yard reception. He's really eating right now. And I think it's over, ladies and gentlemen. They're really close to field goal range. All it takes is a field goal. Well, no, it actually, you want to score a touchdown here because technically they could still come back. Oh, wait, it's not going to matter if they're playing like that. Wow. And now the Titans will have to use their timeouts as well. Now, a field goal would make it 20-13, to 13, which is an 8-point game. Or, excuse me, a 7-point game. But... Either way, oh my goodness, Gus Edwards. But either way, you could honestly, you have enough uh, fieldage here to, to just run the clock out completely if you can pick up a first down. Lamar's going to keep it. I don't like that. Don't like that. But either way, he gets brought down. He holds on to it. That's all that matters. And it's now third and four. Third and four. Third and Lamar's going to keep it. And he gets there and first down. Near to a touchdown. I think the Ravens have just punched their ticket to the freaking Super Bowl in year number one. We do have a subscriber. Clayton DeBush is going to represent the subs out there in the Super Bowl. And he'll be able to, I mean, assuming that they go and win, he can basically, you know, rub it in to every other subscriber whenever he has a beef with somebody. That he has a ring and they don't. I can't believe it. A 9-8 and eight team. The Baltimore Ravens were the underdogs coming, you know, into the playoffs all the way up to the Super Bowl. I mean, they started in the wild card. And now they're ending here in the Super Bowl. They have one last game after this. And they're going to put it they're going to put the points on the board just to rub it in the face. 20 to 13 is the final here in the AFC Championship. I cannot believe my eyes. The 9 and 8 Baltimore Ravens just defeated the Tennessee Titans 20 to 13. They have just punched their ticket. 2 the Super Bowl. For the right to be called world champion. Wow. Man, oh man. 
So let's take a look. I mean, uh, I don't even know what to say. I, I think King Henry didn't really. He only got three carries. What happened? Why didn't they play him? What What happened to him? Did he get hurt? I don't even know. Honestly. Gus Edwards got 21 times. Amar took off 15. I mean, wow. Clayton DeBush. I asked. I said he needs to step up. And he did exactly that. The subscriber had the best game of his career. Getting 65 yards and 7 receptions and a tutty. He was the go-to guy. When Lamar needed someone to catch the ball, he 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 looked to Clayton, and what a way to step up! Now you're going to the Super Bowl. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Next episode will be the final game of season one, when the New Orleans Saints take on the Baltimore Ravens in the Super Bowl. Hope you guys will join me for that episode, and I hope you enjoyed this one. You already know the drill. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.